everybody, how's it going? Well, <laughs> how can I say this here? Camping can be, or just living on the road can be a very rewarding experience, but sometime you're gonna run into something I'm gonna show you in a bit. You don't wanna be one of these here when you're out camping. What I have here, I got my Clorox disinfectant, some gloves, a bag, we have a baggy gloves, and you don't want to be one of these folks here when you're on the road. And I'm going to show you this here. I'm at a very nice campground. What I'm going to do is take you around and show you what's parked next to me. And um, it's pretty cool. I mean, but just that you, you know, you, you look at this campground. I'm going to pan around just a tad bit. I won't go too fast to make you kind of dizzy. But this is a great campground. Excellent campground. I've been here before. I was here two years ago. And you see what's parked next to me, other than you got Tim Rover, the big rig in the back, and you got the um, Integra Cornerstone next to me. These are not, you know, run-of-the-mill run of rigs. But what I want to show you guys is that is I don't want you to be one of those campers. To be When you're out here, it's called pack in and pack out. Whatever you bring, you take out with you. What I'm going to show you, I'm going to grab my gloves here. I'm going to put the camera down and put my gloves on. So I got my Clorox wipes, took a few of them out, and I got my bag. That's what I'm going to show you. Please, please don't be one of these guys here. And this is not my spot, but just imagine if it was my spot. And I don't want to come out of my rig to look at this here. So let me show you. This is nuts. This is what you don't want to be like when you're camping. Keep that in mind. I don't know if that's dog do or whoever's do, but whatever it's going to be, I'm going to go ahead and clean it up. But what I'm going to do is walk to the office and let them know before I clean this up. I'll be back with you in a minute. Got my mask on, and the manager, he's going to get me a shovel. I told him I'll clean it up because this is the, you know, this is the only right thing to do. And I know he's working by himself right now, but he's getting the shovel. I told him I'll come over here. I didn't want to get him excited too much, but I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and be nice for the next person. Take my take this off. Because you never know, the next person coming here, they're going to run into the same issue. I got this here in the bag, and I'm not for sure what it is, but I'm going to toss it. I think, you know, it's the right thing to do to throw this crap in the garbage uh, put that in the garbage as well and I'll go ahead and wash my hands and wipe my hands with this Clorox disinfectant wipe but um when you go to a campground just be courteous of the next person that you might come in here they don't want to come in here to see that but anyway guys just want to show you what not to do at a campground. Well, now that I'm here in Oklahoma, they got a lot of buffaloes. So I'm going to show you guys a buffalo. It's kind of cool. Way off in the distance out there, about right here and right there, there's two buffaloes. And they live here on the premise of this, yeah, basically it's like a KOA, an Indian reservation I think it is, but um, a lot of stuff out this way, they have a lot of Native American um, garb, clothing, you name it. I was at this KOA right here, as you can see right there, and I'm way over there. See the buffalo over there. It's kind of you can see it's walked in a little bit. I, they got like a little den down there where they go and hang out. You guys, I'm going to show you a close up of a big, huge buffalo. It's going to get a little bit close, but not too close. It's going to show you guys this buffalo here. See here? That's pretty cool. Like you don't want to be bothered. It's pretty cool to see buffaloes in the wild. I'll give you, go through the um, fence there. You can see them just cooling out a little bit.
they walk really slow, but when that, once they get upset, you see that? Once they get upset, they get upset. So it's really cool to see Buffalo out here again. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> uh, this is good stuff. They have the totem pole that's behind me. They have little things for the kids, even the adults. They poke their head through. I'm not gonna poke my head through though, but walking. Here's something I wanna really show you guys a little bit. This is a mule. Uh, the back in the days of um, Indian and Western and all kind of stuff. Look here. Look at this mule. They have all the different sceneries as in your cowboy and your native native folks out here. They're just basically that's how they live. You live like there, you know, you have to make it. We have television now and cable and internet and all that good stuff now, but back in those days, these folks didn't have it. They probably didn't see their families for months on end because they were probably in a different state, different part of the country. But it's more like, it's more to be thankful of what you have now, just because you don't have to get up in the morning to go out there to milk your cow. You don't have to go out in the morning to go out there and, you know, and slaughter your chickens to eat or anything else like that. Even make bread. You can just simply go and buy bread. But these things I don't take for granted just because it can happen again where you have to do everything yourself. But that's all I wanted to show you guys for today. But until then, give me a thumbs up if you like, hit the subscribe button, and don't be one of them, I showed you earlier. And I'll see you next time on Tim Rover. You guys take care of yourself. See you next time. Bye.